Welcome back. I hope everybody had a happy holiday. We had a couple of crazy weeks, um, some illnesses and just a busy holiday season and I'm back at it here at the shop. And I'm closing up the bottom of this skiff. The construction of it is stapleless, which normally folks who build these boats staple every strip on as they go. And so far I haven't done any of that and I'm continuing to close up the hull. But I had a creative clamping solution uh, towards the bottom and I just wanted to share that with you. I've got, that's sort of an example for afterwards, but what I've had to do is build a framework over the top so that I can clamp down and still leave the leading edge of what I'm working on against the stations and free. So I need this this entire area from the strip to the keelson um, freed up so that I can clamp down on that. I can't use the, the clips that I was doing before in clamps because that's in the way. And what's happened with the construction of it, if we can, hopefully I can give you a good shot of this. As I've gone down, that is actually, the straight line is gonna throw you off, but the straight line is where I'm going to cut. That strip, and that compound bend going all the way down the boat is bent onto a straight strip. So it's, it's uh, this strip right here is twisted and it is going around the boat. So what it's done is created a hump and you can see that hump there. And if we look over at my tape line, that is how I'm going to correct that and relieve some stress on the next board that goes on. And the next board that goes on is critical because it joins the keelson. Uh, it's, it's the garboard plank. So it's going to go end to end. It's going to glue here where you can see there's quite a twist in that. It's going to join this strip. And it's going to continue down the boat. It's going to be five and a half inches wide at the center. Uh, right here. So it's going to be five and a half inches wide there. And it's going to be rounded and it's going to taper into right around this area here. But the clamping solution that I came up with so I can clamp from the top down, I built the framework. And I'm using these clamps right here in a reverse way. So if you put this clamp in here and squeeze it, it actually relieves the stress and if you squeeze this it opens that and when you release it it holds down and you can do that with a two by four i had to do a bunch of measurements to get this frame right so that this was at the right height within the swing of these but what that does is allows all the working surfaces and everything that i need to work on in the middle to be free so i'll step back now and the line is beautiful that blue tape line the upside of it is where I'm going to cut I'm not going to cut 90% of it the blue line was just for me to make sure that the lines are still really beautiful which they are and you can see where that hump again came out of making the bends and the compound bends you can really see the twist on this one if you get in the cove it goes all the way down there so back to here anyway so uh it's there's only like three strips left to go there's the garbage plank and two strips normally these boats go right up and they the strips join in the center but with this design and being a replica of a boat that i took the lines from it has it has a keel and it's got a splayed uh keel and stem joint here so the inner stem is right here and it joins this splayed section here where it joins the keelson so where most folks have a whiskey plank which is that last little sliver that they install that was actually the first thing i did and where this comes up i've got to make sure that the angle this is a compound angle all along here and this garbage plank that i'm going to put in has to meet that and you can see down the boat on this tape line uh, that's straight so what i did was clamp to the stations like i did at the other end and then i took a straight edge that was four feet long that met at the center of the curve 
and that way this line is not as drastic as trying to put another strip on top of this. So closing this up is pretty crucial and I want to make sure it's right. My garboard planks and the final strips are up here. Garboard planks are book matched, um, flat grain or uh, vertical grain cedar. So it's going to be really pretty. And they are book matched, like I said. So I've got those planned out so that uh, when they're put on, be good to go. But right now, that is how it's coming together. Just a short little update, and I hope you like it. Uh, I wish you could smell it. The cedar is beautiful. It smells amazing. And um, yeah, so more updates to come. Happy New Year.